Of the three R's, which are reduce, reuse and recycle, do you aim to use the first and the second rather than the third? Well, to flip that question slightly on its head, the recycle element of that three is, is generally the easiest for any business to achieve. You can, pay, you can always pay somebody to recycle your goods for you. But getting the reduce and the reuse elements um, uh, working successfully does take a bit more, more effort. Certainly on the first of those, the reduce, um, one of the key things we look at is efficient use of substrates. Um, we have got a stable of equipment at, at different widths and those pieces of equipment will now enable us to load up rolls of varying sizes from uh, as little as a metre up to 3.2 metres. And one of the simple things we do is fit the job to the substrate. Yeah. That means holding a larger inventory of, of widths of material, but ultimately it means that our process waste is, is reduced because we've got smaller offcuts. The other thing we try very hard to do is make sure that we produce full batch rolls of material rather than running short jobs. It's very difficult in a dynamic environment when you're running jobs on often a 24 hour lead time to simply produce um, the customer's job in isolation without looking at your broader workflow. So we aim to produce a, a single 100 metre roll in one hit. Um, that has a 5 metre leader on the beginning of the fabric, so that's effectively something that has to be scrapped every time. And if there's 95 metres behind it, that's much more efficient than there being a much shorter leader behind it. That ultimately goes around our processes in a more efficient way because we're not starting, stopping. Machines are only having to be switched on once to, to process, whether it's through the print process, the fixation process, or the wash process. Um, let's look at the, the, the second of those, the, uh, the reuse element. Um, where we can't be perfectly efficient on the substrate width, um, more commonly I would say on, on our PVC print, we can take that off cut and we can turn it into other items. If it's a viable off-cut to reload, then we can often slit using our automated cutting down the length of a, of a roll, take an unprinted portion of that back on and reuse it for a narrow item. Um, or failing that, we've got other production activities going on here because we're not a pure printer. We can turn that into a, um, an element within another sewn product. Um, PVC is an um, inherently waterproof material. We're making products such as bags, covers and canopies, and often they'll need a, a PVC uh, piece integrated so it's not even visible in the finished product but it's there and it's come from our process waste. The, the, so it's pro production planning is a very very important part of what you Yes and not easy because balancing client requirement with production efficiency is hellishly difficult. Um, we'll often find ourselves with a short lead time and the only way to do it is to for want a better word drop everything and get that client's job on. Sometimes that does mean you have to be inefficient. But then the juggling act of sustainability versus commercial sense has to come into play.